If you guys are thinking about getting fibroid surgery, watch this video first. What's up everybody? It's your girl LaShonda Devon and I am back with another video. Now this video is really, really personal. So right now I want everybody to subscribe and like this video. Hopefully you stay here. We've got story times, vlogs, beauty on this channel. We talk about everything and hopefully you know you guys can get to know me. And we're going to talk about my fibroid story and why I consider it a horror story. Let's get into it. So guys, I'm going to attempt to straighten my hair while I talk to you guys in this video. So I'm using this olive oil heat protection serum to protect this hair from the heat. And you guys know I sell these on my website. These are edge tamers or edge scarves, anybeauty.com. Link is in the description. So let's go. So a year ago, I went and got my physical done and everything came back normal with my body except for when my blood work came back my blood work came back and my doctor came in with this concerned look on her face and she was like um you have to go to the er and i was like excuse me i'm like girl i got things to do today i ain't gonna know er so they told me i had to go to the er and they told me and i asked them why so they were like your hemoglobin levels are at a six and they're supposed to be at a at an 11 to 15. So I was like, wow, like how did this happen? What's going on? So they were like, we we can't let you leave right now unless you go to the ER. And if if you do leave, you have to sign a waiver. So I had to sign a waiver to get out of there because I was just like, listen, I don't want to get it because they said I would have to get a blood transfusion and I didn't want to get a blood transfusion. So I told them that uh, I'll go and find a hematologist and talk to them and see what my alternatives are because I didn't want a blood transfusion. I'd rather get an iron infusion if that was an option. So I found a hematologist and they were really great. They're out here in Virginia. And um, when I found them, they were like, yeah, your, your blood levels are really, really low. And this isn't normal. And we do recommend a blood transfusion but if you don't want to go that route we can do an iron infusion so we did an iron infusion and between the hematologist and the OBGYN they did a whole bunch of tests and um, everything came back normal so then when I told them about my heavy periods um, my hematologist was like have you ever got tested for fibroids and I was like I never got tested for fibroids before so my OBGYN about my heavy periods and she was like okay lay down for me let me you know just do a, a small evaluation right now and if it's concerning we'll send you off to get tests so she laid me down this lash seemed like it's not anyway so she laid me down and she felt my belly and she was like I feel one right here on your right side so I do already feel one okay so we're gonna send you off to get um a ultrasound so i was like okay so they sent me off to get an ultrasound and the ultrasound test results came back that i had one fibroid that was six centimeters so i went back to my OBGYN with the results and she was like okay so here are your options you would have to have an open myomectomy which is like a c-section cut and you know that's your only option and i was like well aren't there other options because you know you see the little ads and stuff on youtube and um instagram about women with fibroids i've seen that they were like you know more up-to-date options that i can choose so i was like you know what she was like listen it's only one it's only six centimeters you can live with it just take your iron pills you'll be fine and i was like well i don't want to live with something in my body that's not supposed to be there so you know you tell me that's my only option you know what i'm gonna go and do research on my own so what i did was i found a fibroid specialist in virginia that had great great reviews and i decided to go to him so as soon as i went there he did the checkup on me and everything and I told him what my doctor said and he was like, you know what? I don't like to talk about other OBGYNs, but she should have been had you come in here because at that point, guys, I was getting iron infusions every other period because my blood kept dropping. Then the iron infusion will boost me up. Then it will drop again. So I was kind of playing Russian, Russian roulette with my freaking health. So I was like, I had to do something about it. I knew I had to do something about it. So he was like, you should have been done this. And why is she telling you that, you know, the open myomectomy is the only 
option. He was like, I'm going to send you out to get an MRI so that we can check and see if you have any more. And guys, I recommend everybody get an MRI because that first um that first ultrasound said that i only had one now i went to go get my mri i'll insert a clip here i went to get my mri and come to find out guys come to find out i had eight fibroids so my doctor my OBGYN, told me that i only had one i can live with it just take iron pills you'll be fine Come to find out I had eight. And my, my fibroid doctor told me, he was amazing. He told me, he said, you have eight and two are huge. He was like, I really want to remove those large ones. And I'm like, listen, let's go. Let's, you know, let's schedule this appointment. Let's get me in there. Let's go. I schedule my appointment. My daughter, she's 18. She drove me to my appointment. And I didn't tell anybody about this. So I know a lot of my like friends are going to be like, well, when did this happen? Because I was out for four weeks. Um laying low i was not on social media i was just recovering so my daughter took me to my appointment um they gave me the anesthesia i was out like a light I'm about to go in and then when i woke up they told me that the surgery was four hours guys the surgery was four hours I was in pain when I woke up. They asked me my pain level. I told them it was about an eight. They um, gave me something for it. And then the nurse walked me to the bathroom. I recommend you guys have somebody at your house to help you go to the bathroom, especially the first three days. My kids had to help me go to the bathroom. I camped out on my couch downstairs because I wasn't going to do the stairs going back and forth to my bedroom. So I recommend being on the couch. You have to kind of sleep sitting up. You can't sleep on your side. You can't sleep on your stomach, obviously. So I slept upright for like four weeks, guys. Like literally the couch was my home for like four weeks. So first three days, my kids helped me to the bathroom. The thing that I didn't like about um, my experience was I feel like the doctor should have given me my prescription prior to my surgery because I was already in pain when I got home and I, I gave my prescription to my daughter to go pick them up. So if I had them already, I could have been home resting and, you know, took medication and went to sleep. But I had to wait for my daughter to get home, for my pain to subside, for me to take my pills and, you know, feel a little bit comfortable. So anyway, they gave me, um, they prescribed oxys, the lowest dosage because my body doesn't do well with oxy. So they gave me only five milligrams, but they helped. Them things helped out. And then they gave me Motrin, Tylenol, and then a stool softener. So your stool is going to be, listen, you're going to be backed up for at least two weeks, child. Okay? So just know that. So, um, and then when I was able to um, use the bathroom, I felt like you still couldn't feel your body like pushing because you're still numbed in the inside. Like your uterus is totally like numb and like it's just recovering, trying to get back to normal. So I had a period two days after my surgery. My period wasn't scheduled to come until the next week. So my doctor told me that your period would either come early or late. Mine came right after the surgery because he told me I would be having discharge and small bleeding, but I was bleeding like heavily. So I'm like, I asked my doctor, I'm like, I'm bleeding heavily for three days now. What's going on? He was like, that's your period. I was like, okay. So after that period, I started bleeding lightly. And then my bleeding became like a yellow color, like bright yellow. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos about fibroids and I didn't hear anybody talk about their discharge being yellow. So I'm the first to let you know that you might get some yellow discharge. And when I asked my doctor about it, he said that's your body recovering he was like that's like healing discharge so your body's healing he was like so that lets me know that everything is going um fine and then guys okay so after the surgery i guess they tape your eyes closed they stick a tube down your throat i guess the oxygen tube so when i woke up my eye was messed up like i guess they got some of the tape in my eye my throat I couldn't even talk and the doctor was dope he was calling me on my cell phone LaShonda how are you I couldn't talk he was like what's wrong with your throat I'm like you tell me then you do my surgery you don't know what's wrong with my throat it's day two I lost my voice I'm not sure if it's from 
believe it's from the anesthesia. And my eye is still swollen because I don't know, I guess they got something in my eye when I woke up. But I'm resting, I'm in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Last night was the worst. But um, I'm about to take some more medicine. They gave me oxys, ibuprofen, and um, Tylenol. But you know, I guess normally um, people don't lose their voice, but my body's so sensitive. So I lost my voice for like the first three days. Like I said, first three days, kids helped me to the bathroom. Um, I started to feel better really rather quickly, but I didn't have an appetite for weeks. So I lost weight. I lost eight pounds within like two weeks. And then in four weeks, I lost 11 pounds. So I was all slim and trim. And then I started eating right and body was on point. Started eating bad. So the weight's coming back. I'm mad about that, but that's another story. So the doctor told me that he removed only seven of the fibroids. And I was like, you told me I had eight. I had eight fibroids why did you only remove seven and he was like well i only removed what i saw i'm like so was the other one hidden he was like no i don't think you have another one so i think you're good and i'm like you sure <laughs> so the first two periods that period right after the surgery it was it was a bit heavy but the next one was light there was no cramps i was like oh thank god the surgery worked i'm blessed yes no cramps because my cramps were so bad when i when my period was heavy and my period was for seven days okay prior to the surgery now my period is for like three four days super light accompanied with no cramps i thought i was just the princess the queen the everything honey okay okay so june july august june july august light periods beautiful september and october my periods are heavy again they're as heavy as they were prior to my surgery so i told my um my fibroid doctor i'm like what's up like i thought that my worries were over my troubles were over what's good and he was like you know um well i told him this in september he was like you know what after the surgery, sometimes your period is wonky and, you know, it just has to, you know, maneuver its way back to normal. And I'm like, okay, well, I had some great periods. I want those back. What's going on? It's heavy again. I'm using a tampon and a pad. And he's like, you're not supposed to be doing that. So he was like, so let me know. So that was in September when I told him. So he was like, let me know in October if that happens. So I was like, okay. October came. Heavy, 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 heavy. So... That's why I said this is a horror story for me, guys. Pray for me because he told me if it was heavy in October that I would have to come back and get another ultrasound so that he can check and see if, you know, they came back or if, um, you know, he missed any, which he said, like I told y'all, he said they were eight and he took out seven. So I don't know. But pray for me, guys. I... I mean, this process is like really daunting because, you know, you go through a four hour surgery, they poking you like a pig. Oh, and then my, my, my um, incisions are really small. Okay. They're like a half an inch, one right beside my belly button, one underneath that and one underneath my belly button on the other side. And then they do one in your belly button. So four all together, super small, um, and then remember my OBGYN said that I would have to get that open myomectomy. I didn't have to get that at all. I got a laparoscopic myomectomy, robotic. So it's like a little robot that they put inside of you, out the fibroids, sew you back together and, um, you know, do it without having to cut you open because that cut really takes a longer time to heal than my small incision. So make sure you do your research and find a specialist, guys. Okay, I guess it's still a process for me. You know, um, like I said, I didn't really tell anybody about this. My mom knew, my boyfriend knew, my kids, of course, and close friends. So, you know, I just try to heal, get through this, and girl, yeah. So hopefully, you guys ride with me on this journey. I will let you guys know what's going on. I'm going to have to do another appointment and, you know, see what's going on inside of me. Um but if you guys have any questions let me know i will let you guys know um everything that they told me to do the before care i'll insert a clip here all right y'all it's the night before my surgery and this is what the doctor had gave me 
this incentive spirometer, this pre-surgery insure, and these two Hybaclins soaps that I have to wash up with. So I have to wash up with them tonight and then again in the morning. So this was in my package and I'm about to get ready for the night. So I'm about to use these soaps. Great. The surgery is like a $30,000 surgery. It's really expensive. My insurance paid for the majority, but I did have to come out of pocket for some as well. I'm just so discouraged right now because I saw so many great stories. Oh, but let me say this. I don't have cramps anymore. That's the beautiful thing. I still don't have cramps, but my periods are still heavy. So I'm, I'm actually getting an iron infusion on Monday which is Halloween. So guys, I'm posting this video after the 31st. So here's me on Halloween getting my iron infusion. And I'm so pooped about that. I gotta get another iron infusion because my blood level right now, hemoglobin is the red blood cells that pumps oxygen to your organs. So mine right now was at 8.8. .8. It's supposed to be 11 to 15. So I'm getting an iron infusion to bring my levels back up. And I just feel like I'm back at square one and it just really sucks, but I'm drinking my wine. I'm about to go see my boo. And I will let you guys know everything, you know, all the updates. But my stomach did go down. So um, I don't feel like I had a big stomach, but he said that my stomach was like a four month pregnant woman. You can definitely see the difference. I'll insert the clips. Good. The weight loss was good. I was eating so healthy. I wish that I kept you know, going. And then I, I try to attribute the fact that, that my period started getting heavy again after I stopped eating right. But my surgery was supposed to work and it didn't. So I'll keep y'all posted. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for listening to my fibroid story. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, oh, I know women want to know this, okay? when you can have intercourse again after fibroids okay so my doctor said i could wait up to six weeks and then i had the green light he actually gave me the green light at four weeks but we did it at six weeks i was so scared because i thought you know something up there would be you know twisted or you know hurt but six weeks i was fine so i looked up a lot of videos wondering when you can do it again so i give y'all that little jewel right there before i end this video <laughs> any other questions just let me know thank you guys for watching here is what my hair is looking like guys for the most part this is what it's looking like like comment and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video